I really? Loved, I loved working in the oil field. I loved really? working on a drilling rig. And Don't you get oil all over you? Not really. I mean, some <laughs> days, some days, yeah. Some oh. days you would get you would get filthy, but other days, you know. Why? Because I mean, you needed to finish your twelve hour tour dirty, or your boss wouldn't think you. So did you worked anything. twelve hours in a row. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, 14, 14 days on, fourteen days off, twelve hours a day. Why do they arrange it like that? Because then you go it goes home. offshore. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, you'd stay out on the rig for two weeks. So you work for fourteen days straight, twelve hours a day. So you, it's almost like doing a movie. You only have time to do the thing and then sleep. There you go. That's that's what it was. Except it's not really like doing a movie because you're full of oil. But so, <laughs> like, I'm fascinated by this. This was offshore yeah. Louisiana. Yeah. I see. And what? So you what? Do you, what happens? You you catch the oil in the sea and you bring it up like fish. <laughs> what? Is it like like it's a. I've seen video of it, obviously, but like it looks like there's a big thing on the. So what are you doing? You're how are you getting the you're oil from the from poking this? a hole in the ground? Yeah. Yes, but how? But then when it comes up on the ship, you're putting it in barrels. But sometimes they will lay a pipeline. Usually they'll lay a pipeline from the platform back to the to the shore. Yeah, to those big. Oh, right, uh, of course. So you're just monitoring how it's coming up through the. I didn't do the production end of it. I just did the drilling part. We, somebody finds the oil, which in the case, which in the Gulf of Mexico, it's very hard to drill a well in the Gulf of Mexico that you're not going to hit oil. It's really? everywhere. Yeah. So, you know, we would drill the wells, and then sometimes we would test the well to see if it was a good well, you know, and I don't, I don't know what the numbers were on how they uh, judge that, but, you know, then we would just cap it off and then we would move on to another location and drill another well. And then somebody else would come in behind us with a workover rig, a production rig, and put the well. But, but you're, you're on the boat the whole time. No, I was on a, a, a jack up. What's that? It's a big, huge barge. Uh, oh. that has legs on it and you get towed to the location oh i see and then the legs go down to the ocean floor and then you literally jack the whole barge up out of the water and then you drill the well so and you do this in one day oh no months and months oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> on one place like that yeah in one why place. because it's just so long to get the thing in it takes the ground. a long time you know to drill oh. 10 or twelve thousand feet oh i see yeah. Why? Because the drill gets like stuck on shit and uh, it's just some it gets pretty hard once you get on down there and you gotta drill through these layers of rock and stuff. But it's but how can you control the drill from where well, up top on the ocean? Oh man, those guys are brilliant. I mean the technology is just they know exactly which and they can make that bit go whichever direction they want it to go. Uh -huh. You know, you could sit in one spot and drill drill wells. Out there, out there, out there. And how do you know when you hit the oil? You'll see it. It'll start coming back in the mud, you know, the oh, the mud that you use to get the cuttings out of the hole. You'll start, because you, you're always testing the mud to see, right. and then you'll see it'll start coming back. Or you might take a kick, and you'll know you've hit it, you know. Wow. Yeah. And you liked this? I did, man. <laughs> I did, you know, because I swear, you know, it was, um, I worked, I was a roughneck, and then I started working derricks. I was a derrick hand, and, and, you know, I, shit, I was the cock of the walk, man. And it was a very uh, competitive environment. It was like, really, because when I quit playing college football and then I started working in the oil field, it was like, there. it was, it was a continuation of a team sport, almost. But it's be, a lot of guys, a right? Crew. Huh? It's a lot of guys. It was a lot of guys. There were 40, no, but forty or fifty men on that rig. But just men. So, uh, you know, a female engineer would come out from time to time, not very often. But for so for half your life, the fourteen days you're on, you're just in an atmosphere of all men. Yeah, and you like that. Hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't no, you dare I'm not, I'm not i'm not driving in anything oh really I'm, it kind of feels like you are I'm, no man i'm just it was a very competitive uh, I, kind of thing and you know and it was like yeah a lot i of, felt like i was the best hand on that rig and if you of, think you're better hand than i am let's right. let's go at it let's see who can 
you know, a lot of guys offshore doing a lot of drilling. There's, yeah, nothing, there's nothing you know. gay about this. God. <laughs> I never saw that. Maybe it happened. I don't know. Really? Not with me. I don't know. Right. But so, okay, so then you go back. What about, tell me about the 14 days when you're back home, because then you're not working. So this is when the Trace Atkins legend becomes... Started getting out, of, yeah. Right, because you must be like just partying the whole time, right? Well, it w no, no, but it did allow me to start uh, hook up with a band and start playing clubs on the weekends. Oh, really? You know, so it allowed me to to start doing that, <laughs> and then it kind of just started to get bigger and bigger and bigger to the point that I finally took a leave of absence from my oil field job and went on the road and started playing clubs in Texas, you know, and then that six month leave of absence turned into four and a half years. <laughs> yeah, and then finally I, I got to a point where I woke up one morning and looked in the mirror and said, five years ago, I wouldn't have been caught hanging out with somebody like you, you know, and I quit. When did that happen? It was 89. Really? Mm. You stopped getting into trouble in 89? No. Stopped getting into yeah. trouble? No, I just quit playing clubs, and I oh. went back to work in the oil field. Oh, you went back? Why? Yeah, I thought I was going to, because I thought I was going to kill me. Hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.